So now that I've done my image trace, I'm going to expand. Click this button up here and click expand. Right now, this is all one object, and I want it to be many different objects that I can select in color. So I'll click the expand button. Now it's many different objects. I can use my direct selection tool to select just one shape. Just one. See all these different shapes I can select? So I'll make, I'll get out my colors palette. And right now there's not many colors there. So I'm going to add a color palette. I'll open this watch library and from art history, I'll add pop art. This is the full pop art palette. So let's see, can I select them all and just drag them into my swatches palette. There we go. When I did that, this was selected, so it made that yellow. So maybe I'll make my face and body warm colors and the background, I'll make cool colors, my hat and the background. So I'll start by make, using this bright yellow and I'll make the face portion a paler bright color. That's not very pale, but that's good for me. I think this was the yellow. And I'll choose another warm color for some of these darker areas. It's worth choosing um, values that go, that match the values of the original photograph. Let's see. I can hold my shift key and select more than one object here if I want to. And maybe I'll make the teeth a different color. I'm not sure what different color that would be, but something lighter and warm. I want to stay in the warm colors palette. Maybe I'll double click this and just go paler there. Um, I could do a lot more here, but in the interest of time, I'll just choose this background and go with a bright, cool color. Here's another bright, cool, let's see, there we go right there. One thing you can do is select a color, and in the select, you can choose uh, everything else that's that same color. So it will select all of that color. And I was going green with these, so. Now I can click, let me zoom in, Control plus or Command plus if you're on a Mac. So I can get some of these smaller shapes. I'll do the same thing. Under select, I'll choose everything that is that same color. Now I've got all that selected. So I'll choose another cool color here. And in general, that's the process. I would probably uh, suggest to me, if I were my student, to flop this pink and yellow so that uh, the darker color is in the shadow and the lighter color is in the light. I'll just select this pink and go with a lighter color and select this yellow and go with the darker color. That makes a little more visual sense, right? So after you've done a bunch of your colors, then you're going to get your rulers. I usually get them by typing Control R. You can see how they just appeared. Control R, they disappear. Command if you're on a Mac. Or you can click the view menu and just look for the rulers, show rulers. So I can see here that my document is a little more than 12 inches wide. What I want to do is make this, make my artboard four times that size. 
So let me zoom out a little bit. And I could do the math, but instead I'm just going to show you this way. Select the whole thing, copy it, edit copy, and paste. So there's another one. I didn't guess right on my artboard, so I'll have to make it a little wider. And then I want to copy those two and put two more below it. So those are copied. Edit, copy, and then edit, paste. That's control C and control V. You should all be very familiar with that by now. All right, my artboard is cutting those off, so I'll bring it down a little. So now my task is to change the colors. In this composition, I have a cool background and a warm foreground. So it should be the opposite in this one. And if you read through the instructions, you'll see that diagonally opposing, they should be the same, warm in the foreground and cool in the background, but different warm colors. So I'll make this one orange, because that's a warm color and pink. So it's just a different set of warm and cool colors. And maybe I'll make this one teal. So all four of these should be very different, different sets of warm and cool. And eventually you'll be, you'll have your Andy Warhol imitation composition.